There is no doubt that some families will eventually fall on hard times and need assistance to get back on their feet. When that occurs, there are plenty of government programs and charities that give that much needed push to help people find their footing again. However, there are people out there that take advantage of these programs designed to help and use them as a financial windfall. Though what makes that crime even worse is that under the Obama administration those cases of fraud only increased and President Trump has had enough of it. Over the last year, the Trump administration has been busy cracking down on welfare fraud in our country and has made some huge strides in shutting down these criminal rings. The amount of money these welfare leeches have stolen from the American taxpayer is astounding which only proves why Trump is serious about revamping the welfare program and it is about time. For instance, investigators in Grand Rapids, Michigan busted a food stamp crime ring that was run by three Muslim brothers, Ahmad Khalil Kain, Jawad Khalil Ahmad Kain, and Kader Khalil Kain ran a Middle Eastern market where they operated their crime ring. The brothers were discovered to have cost the American taxpayers $736,000 from EBT and $544,000 from WIC over the course of nine years. Thankfully, these brothers were caught and sentenced to prison for their gluttonous crime, but that was just the beginning of how widespread this welfare scam was. As investigators continued to dig into cases of welfare fraud across the country they were taken aback at how rampant it had become. Millions of dollars worth of food stamp fraud were found predominantly in convenience stores that were found in low-income areas where the majority of individuals receive food stamps through the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP. So to show the millions of dollars these criminals have taken away from the federal government, here are the seven most prominent takedowns of food stamp fraud of 2017, and you can be sure this next year will be even more significant. Here is more from Briet Bart. 1. Ohio convenience store owner sentenced to 33 months in prison for $2.8 million in food stamp fraud. A former Ohio convenience store owner got caught carrying out the $2.8 million food stamp fraud scheme where he allowed benefit recipients to exchange their food stamps for cash. The USDA revealed in an audit that the store, Bread and Market, cashed in on SNAP benefits more than 10 times the amount of larger stores in the area, raising red flags among investigators. A judge eventually convicted and sentenced George Rafidi, 62, to 33 months in prison in February and ordered him to pay that $2.8 million back. 2. Florida investigators discover more than $20 million in food stamp fraud, the Division of Public Assistance Fraud, which works within Florida's Department of Children and Families to investigate welfare fraud, uncovered $20,719,036 worth of food stamp fraud in South Florida over the past fiscal year. The agency said it uncovered the majority of fraud when paging through SNAP benefit applications stating fraudulent household information. 3. Baltimore man sentenced to four years for $3.7 million food stamp fraud, a Baltimore store owner got slapped with a four-year prison sentence for carrying out $3.7 million worth of food stamp fraud. Mohammed Shafik, 51 was one of 14 other Baltimore-area retailers sentenced to $16 million worth of food stamp fraud, where they exchanged SNAP benefits for cash. The judge ordered Shafik to pay back that $3.7 million to the federal government and serve three years of supervised release following the end of his sentence. 4. Three Wisconsin men who carried out $1.2 million food stamp fraud sentenced to hard time, a judge sentenced three Milwaukee, Wisconsin, convenience store owners, Ken Wargill, 67, Raviander Gill, 27, and George Nance, 59, to prison terms ranging from 15-20 months in October after the three had been found guilty of exchanging cash for SNAP benefits. Their store, Quick Hannes, had been an authorized retailer that accepts food stamp benefits, but the $1.2 million in benefits the store redeemed was far beyond the amount the small convenience store was expected to redeem. Records show that all three men had been ordered to pay back the $1.2 million in fraudulently earned money. 5. 
7 food stamp fraud recipients plead guilty to taking part in $5 million food stamp fraud. Although most people who carry out massive food stamp fraud are store owners and shopkeepers, sometimes the beneficiaries themselves take part in the fraud. 7 South Carolina women who received SNAP benefits as part of a $5 million scheme pleaded guilty to defrauding the government of more than $20,000. The judge, however, ruled that the woman could avoid jail time if they paid back the fraudulently obtained money by the end of 2017. The store owners involved in that scheme were not so lucky. Three out of the five store owners faced five-year prison terms and were expected to pay back up to $5 million to the federal government. 6. Fundamentalist Mormon Sect Conducts $11 million Food Stamp Fraud Not all food stamp fraudsters are convenience store owners or food stamp recipients. The FBI recently took down a fundamentalist Mormon sect in Utah after discovering that Lyle Jeffs, the former polygamous sect leader, orchestrated an $11 million food stamp scheme that involved transferring benefits to a communal warehouse and several front companies. Jeffs reportedly had several female members of the sect carry out food stamp trafficking. A judge sentenced Jeffs to five years in prison and ordered him to pay $1 million of that money back to the federal government. 7. Iraqi immigrant pleads guilty to $1.4 million food stamp fraud. An Iraqi immigrant pleaded guilty to $1.4 million in food stamp fraud in November for conspiring with others to defraud the U.S. government. Ali Ratibdaham, 40, of Maine, gave customers cash in exchange for SNAP and women, infant, and children, WIC, program benefits. He then redeemed the full value of the benefits to obtain more money from the government fraudulently. The naturalized U.S. citizen is expected to face a harsh prison sentence for his crime, he faces up to 20 years behind bars and will most likely be expected to pay back the $1.4 million to the government. All of these criminals should work off the money they stole from the American people and then some. It is egregious to witness this level of fraud happening in our country unchecked for so long while real people are suffering. No one is saying that people should not have access to government assistance if they fall on hard times but this is downright disgusting. Thank goodness President Trump is doing what he can to shut down those that commit welfare fraud and give back to the American people. H. T. Briet Bart, follow us on Facebook at Freedom Daily. Thank you.